The SON trial is a um, uh, cluster uh, randomized, or it's a step, step wedge cluster randomized trial uh, comparing uh, cervical cancer patients who received uh, knee adjuvant chemoradiotherapy uh, and achieved a clinical complete response. They were randomized to either surgery or to surveillance and surgery only when needed. Uh, the trial did show non-inferiority for the surveillance in this selected group of the clinical complete responders. And, um, uh, well, regarding uh, impact on clinical practice, I don't think it really is data mature enough to change clinical practice for two reasons. First of all, we need to see uh, results stratified by histological type. In this trial, there are two types of esophageal cancer put together, squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma, and they are very different diseases, where I think there's a very good chance of curing squamous cell carcinoma without surgery. Uh, I think the chances are much l lower for adenocarcinoma, and a majority of the patients in the trial were adenocarcinoma patients, and we need to see those patients uh, just on their own before we can, we can you know, really show that the trial itself showed non-inferiority for, for, for that particular type. So that's one thing. The other thing is generalizability, because uh, more than 800 patients went into the trial algorithm of clinical response evaluation, and this was performed at six weeks, and the ones that were negative were reassessed at 12 weeks. All the patients that had tumor left, they were operated outside the trial, and this was a vast majority of the patients that entered the algorithm. So these patients were all operated with a delay because of the response evaluation algorithm. And it's quite likely that it's not safe to delay surgery for such a long time in clinical non-complete responders. So we need to be sure that um, these patients have not been harmed by the delay of more than 10 weeks until they had their surgery before we can uh, actually use these results in clinical practice. So I don't think uh, these results actually should change clinical practice.